Oh, three days out of the week so far, we get car parts. That is a big box. This actually might be going on today. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? My name is Zach Stenstrom, and welcome to the channel. This is Craig, if you haven't met Craig yet. <laughs> that was good. That was right at the beginning of the intro. All right, guys. So, <laughs> That's funny. I'm, this is going to be my intro because that's good. So we saw, came home to a huge box on the front porch. Well, we have that right here. What that is, is the core support for the car. If you didn't watch my disassemble video, or at least didn't watch it all the way through, you will not know that my core support is actually broken. So we are going to be replacing that first today um, don't actually know how much work it's gonna be didn't look like a whole lot of work <laughs> but nothing usually does so we're gonna go ahead and pop this hood get in there get this unboxed see how much work it's actually gonna be and while we're doing it we're going to install the Mishimoto catch can because unlike a lot of the billet specialties or some of the other brands, this catch can actually mounts to the core support by the radiator. So a little different than mounting right by the intake and head on the other ones. So if we're gonna go ahead and replace the core support, we're gonna install the catch can and just do it at one time. So this is gonna be kind of a install on both of those or more so a swap of the core support and an install of the Mishimoto catch can. Let's just get into that. We have plans to wrap some stuff too, but we're gonna see how it goes because we're gonna call it early tonight because I need sleep. I was actually late to work today because I didn't get done editing the video to around 11. Go to sleep, wake up at 3.30. It's just not enough sleep, guys, and I've been doing this all week and been burning candles on both ends. And if we're gonna stay up and do an all-nighter Friday, which it's starting to seem like, yeah, starting to seem like, poor Craig. Poor Craig's just helped me out. He's a great dude. If you don't follow him on Instagram, actually, you need to post more on Instagram. You posted twice last year, I looked. Twice, two posts last year. One this year. T Tell this guy. We have plenty of content for him to post. Anyway, side story, I gotta, let's get to work, guys. I like big boxes and I cannot lie. <laughs> I'm full of dad jokes and it's ridiculous. This is just kinda in here. <laughs> All right, so. Support is gonna be black because frankly I'm just not painting it. I don't care. The only thing that's actually seen, I swear, I can't get this one piece of plastic off this It's like the longest unpacking thing ever. So the only part you actually are gonna see on these is this part right here because the black plastic part on the top of the bumper covers all this. So you'll have this white trim. Now, putting this on, this is actually really light. No wonder it breaks easy. Um, so by putting this on, it's just gonna be black. It's just gonna blend in with this over here. So, essentially, It's just gonna look like that. Yeah. So I don't think that's gonna look bad instead of, well, it's gonna be blue, black, white. So I'm cool with just being black. We're just gonna replace it as is. So let's get to unbolting stuff. I love taking stuff apart. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to document this as much as possible without just making an extremely long video. So we have, you know, it looks like a tin here. 
Um, those look like 12s. Honestly, these are probably 10s. Uh, we have the actual radiator mount. There's a horn. Here's the hood latch, horn, radiator. We have some broken stuff over here. It's like a 12 down here. But then we have, where's the flashlight? And then we have some, doesn't look like anything in here really. So we have this bracket for the brake line that's gonna have to be popped off. But, fun fact, all right, so you see this bolt right there? Probably getting washed out with the light. That bolt right there, that is the actual bolt that the Mishimoto catch can bolts to. Actually, I'll just show you that whenever we're ready to do that. I think that's mostly all the stuff we gotta start disassembling. Uh, if I find anything else, I will let you guys know. Recording. All right. So this core support can come out without taking the radiator out or anything. Uh, it was really just all the bolts that I pointed out in the beginning. You do have to take the cable off your, hole, or your hood latch. You gotta disconnect this plug, all these wires are in here. These brake line brackets are pushed in on the back. And then you have uh, 10 millimeter coming in from this way, which I tried to show you guys and It was right here on this side was the hardest one because it was behind this brake line Other than that, this was actually pretty simple that took all of what 10 minutes. Yes Now the fun part is getting one back in because we got to make sure it maneuvers without beating up the fenders or anything So Let's do that. We're actually making a really good time today. <laughs> right? And let's see if I jinx that. I will probably need a helping hand with this, so we'll see you guys in a minute. I'm not gonna try to maneuver this in there by myself. So you can quit recording. That actually went really smooth. We've got it back into place. Mr. Craig forgot to put these threaded sleeves on before we can bolt these on. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Now, installing, I actually did chip the wrap. I will, I'll probably just put a little patch there. But it kind of is what it is. It was not. Oh, we're good over here. I made sure this sucks. We, uh, that was from actually taking that one out. Oh. Oh, it is what it is, guys. That was a careless mistake. I'll patch it. No one will ever see it, except for anyone who watched YouTube, apparently. We'll get all this bolted back in. So this is basically in now. We have to tighten up a few things. But as I said earlier, we have our Mishimoto catch can to put in. Now this one's a little different than most. I'll show you basically where it's gonna go. You wanna hold this, Craig? Come over here. Right. So this bracket is gonna go behind here to that threaded line that I showed you earlier which we don't have in yet. This is gonna bolt on here. It's only gonna go one way. And this is gonna go right here like that. Then the lines are gonna go over here. Now there's more lines. So, <laughs> so there's more lines to these than the usual catch can that's like right here. <laughs> so, <laughs> But, I uh, honestly have never heard anything bad about Mishimoto. Mishimoto is actually a very highly reputable cooling company. And they're my sponsor. Well, they were kind enough to give me a sponsorship. I still paid for these. I got a partial discount. But, 
If y'all didn't watch that video, go check the video out. Man, that's my first sponsorship ever. I, I genuinely appreciate them for giving me that opportunity. So, their catch can, of course. Hopefully, we get around to getting the coolant reservoir, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to flush the entire system before Saturday. And if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. So, that might come after the show. Right now, we're going to get this bracket molted up because, as I said, man, it goes back here. And there's a bolt that goes into here. So, this has to be bolted here. And this is going to be mounted right there onto this then this will be attached right here go ahead and get some of that started then we'll run the lines show you guys kind of a step-by-step -step for this install this is the supplied bolt that comes to replace the bolt that goes here here is the bracket let's see if we can see in there which it's really hard to see in between all that. Well, this longer, oh, wait, there it is. Right in there. That is the longer bolt that is supplied. And with the kit is this locking nut, which is 10 millimeter as well. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to get this. We're gonna slide these brake lines apart which give me a second and then I will fast forward to that. You can see what we did here. Basically put a 10 millimeter on an extension, kind of, sorry, split these brake lines or just pried them away from each other. And we have it tightened all the way. It's snug, it's a locking nut. We'll take that out, those are back. And this, brick, this bracket isn't going anywhere. I'm actually fully happy with that. Now this bracket is a little bit more difficult than some of the other catch cans that mount like right here with a little L bracket or Z bracket or whatever they call it. But I'm happy with this. Would have been a little bit more of a pain with the bumper on and this install just would have been a little bit more extensive if it's a weekend project or something. Cause you're supposed to be able to take this plastic off the top of this bumper over here. I never have. I don't know if you can while it's on the car. Never tried it. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Don't know. But I'm happy with this bracket set up. Let's go ahead and I'll show you. Here is the supplied Allen heads that are gonna go on here. These Allen heads are gonna go right. And it's gonna go on this bracket like so, this is really difficult to hold and look and do all this. All right, so that's gonna go like that. Where's my catch can? We're gonna take these out because that is what's gonna hold this to this. We found the right Allen head to start taking this off to mount this. But before that, we're gonna go ahead and put these in and out. I already grabbed one. We're gonna go ahead and put these in. These come supplied with O-rings, which is perfect. It's actually really good looking metal fittings. So we're gonna get these installed. All right, look at that. Like butter. <laughs> actually, this one's not going in. Oh, left hand's retarded. Oh, 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 no. No, no. Ah, here we go. Alright. So we'll get those tightened all the way. Get it in there. Then we'll run these hoses and show you guys the finished product. Front lower. So essentially what we did, 3 inches by 48. The 3 inches is the tall. And that's just to give enough slack so that we get full coverage with a little bit of extra. The 48, again, gives a little bit of extra and a little bit of extra. Craig went ahead and measured all of these. Where do you have some other ones? On the roof. On the roof, okay. 
Um, so as I said in one of the videos, the whole pre-planning makes everything go so much faster. Three inches by 43 for rear lower, three by 55 for front top. This is how we plan everything, cut it out accordingly. We have it all ready to go. And she does actually some really great gloss black. What it does is it comes with a clear coating on top of the wrap. So what it does is it protects this gloss black and gives it a much better gloss than say 3M or something that has a much more orange peel. I want it to do a full recording, but I'm gonna let Craig lay this real quick and show you guys just a quick, now, of course, this is the easiest piece. This one and that one, the straight ones, go ahead, whatever you need to do, just let me talk, let me get in your way. And he's gonna show you that you can do this by yourself. Now don't get me wrong, these pieces, especially this back one over here, requires a lot more work, probably two hands, can be done with one person, two hands makes everything easier, especially with wraps, always. But you can see, go ahead, Craig, and I want to get in your way. So you just work your way all the way down, smooth it out, take your time. You can see he had a little wrinkle right there. Straighten it out. As you can see, the top is pretty close to already done. What he'll do is he'll just tuck that in right there, once it's finished and everything's glassed out. Tuck under here, tuck against that molding. He'll open the door and get it pushed in as far as he can over here and tucked around the back like we did over here. I'll show you, because Craig did all these uh, while I was working on other pieces. As you can see, man, he, he tucked it all the way around. Same thing up here. Tucked all around. And just knocking it out. And right up against that molding. And then you guys saw me cut yesterday. Now he'll use heat on these once he gets it open. He'll use heat to conform it around and make sure that everything's snug. Cheetah's adhesive works really well or adheres really good after heat and pressure is applied. Other than that, Cheetah's, Cheetah's, here, let me push this down. It just, it's easy, super easy material to work with. Very, very, very user friendly. And there you go, there's that Chrome Delete. I'm gonna let him work on that as I finish this up. These hoses, I put them somewhere, I swear. All right, losing one, there we go. Hoses are only gonna go one way, of course. So we'll figure it out. I'll just probably look at a picture here in a second. See which way these go. They came with supplied. I'm losing my mind, guys. They came with new. I can't even think of what these are. hose clamps. All right, hose clamps, bam. We got those. This is gonna come off. This is gonna come off. We're gonna make this work, guys. Now let me look at a picture of this so I can figure out what I'm doing. So heat it up. And just fold it right around. real quick Craig I just wanted the light all it took was 
You good? Mm -hmm. There's a rolly stool thing right there. So I, <laughs> so I took a little heat, folded it over, tucked it all real nice. Bam! Easy as cake. Easy peasy. Whatever. We'll mm -hmm. do the same thing up here. Oh, you want to go ahead and do it? Yeah. Oh, Alright. Love these doors. They open up really, really wide. As you guys can see, bam, tucks it in all the way around. Now he'll go back and heat it and make sure everything's tucked right. You can see he got it really nice in this molding line. So here's the molding edge. Bam, tucked under here. And then we'll use the same cutting method that I did in yesterday's video. And that is Chrome Delete 101, easy peasy. I do recommend, I don't recommend. If you want to try this, I would say try it. Buy a yard of gloss black material. Um, you can get it from Metro Recycling, Fellers, however you wanna do it, eBay. Get you about a yard, make sure you have all your measurements, you know exactly how much it's gonna take for your vehicle. If you have, a 300, message me, I'll give you the exact measurements we have them. We've done a few chrome deletes on these cars. And I would say just try it out, guys. If it doesn't work, peel it off. No harm, no foul. You getting pretty good at this chrome delete, Craig? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Now I gotta finish this. Needless to say, I am so Super happy with how this looks. Uh, these little zigzag hoses, I was a little concerned with looking like a mess. I did add zip ties right here to kind of hold them in place. I do like how they fill in this area right here. I hate how that empty area and you can just see the head and the alternator and all that. You can see the mounting. Bolts on the back, the four on the top that hold it in place. You can see that it is really on there. Overall guys, super, super, super happy with this catch can. What I'm gonna do is a full review after a thousand miles and 3000 miles because I'm gonna do a fresh oil change on this probably before tuned originals if not as soon as we get back so this should have nothing but fresh oil in it with 1000 and 3000 miles i'll give a review i'll see how much oil this thing is actually catching through this blowing back through the intake and see if it's actually worth having or not so i will do a full review on that for the mishimoto catch can Craig is killing it over here with Chrome Delete. I'm gonna finish putting all of this back together and we'll see where we are time-wise and keep on rolling. Well guys, we have a core support. No more flimsy fender. That is all done. These have already been adjusted. Once the bumper's on, I will adjust these to make sure that the uh, center point of the hood lines up with the bumper, but I can't do that until the bumper's on because I'll show it and show you guys. And then I'm gonna need you to repop this. You can see I've, uh, without a bumper, this is really simple. I've already adjusted these so that they're sitting. Now we've got flush hood on this side, flush hood on this side. Go ahead. Ah. But everything is rebolted back together. We've got strong bolts are back together. Lines are ran where they need to run. Hood latch. That's a headlight. Mishimoto is done. Yeah, buddy. That is 
you know what, Craig? You know what I think I'm going to have to do? I think once this thing gets a uh, cam swap and everything, I think these wheel wells need to go black. Yes. And yeah, kick it kind of kind of old school. Yes. There's a black engine bay. That'll look really good, actually, with whatever color I wrap. And I won't have this eyesore. Paint the underhood black. Oh, yeah. Now we're on to something. That'd be nice. Yeah, I mean, this is the only white because the firewall's black, the cow's black, now this is black. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to do that. So, headers and cam coming soon just so that I can paint the wheel wells. What do you guys think? Thumbs up? Let me know. And we got Chili the Penguin. Mizumoto, man. And it's even got a little suction cup. I'm going to hang it like right here. So while I'm driving, all I see is this little penguin. Hang on. Yeah, don't do that. It sounds dangerous. Good idea. <laughs> Shut up, Craig. So we are gonna see, moment of truth, cause uh, I have limo tint. We're gonna go ahead and see how uh, this whole chrome delete looks. Oh, I'm gonna trip over this core support. Oh yeah. That is nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's all dirty right now. And you can see through because that other door's open. <laughs> this blue and black combination is gonna look really good, dude. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, buddy. We have full chrome delete all around. I really need to clean this. One spot's like super dirty. Nice. And then let's see. Craig's almost done over here. Are you done? Yeah. Oh, you are done. Oh, here I am over here saying he's almost done. So we have this to trim. And then we'll have that to lay. And I think we're gonna call it a night. Because if we get sleep tonight, that means we'll have more rest before tomorrow's all nighter. <laughs> that sounds terrible. But uh, hopefully, well, no, I mean like last, last time, it was either go to sleep for a couple hours and then just feel miserable because power naps don't always make you feel better or push through it and just knock everything out. So, we'll kind of see where we're at here, hold on. Core support's done, catch can, chrome, delete is about to be done. We still need to wrap the roof, bumper, rear bumper, mirrors, trunk, headlights don't have to be done, rockers have to be done. I have new floor mats, interior door, or interior trim doesn't have to be done. Um, wheel wells gotta go back in. Dish on the wheels doesn't have to be done. Clean brake calibers. I gotta clean those and wash the car before the show. So there's still a lot to do. But I know I can push through and do that tomorrow night. I can't do that tonight before going to work. It just, like I said, I was already late to work this morning. I need to catch up on some sleep or at least get normal sleep. So we'll knock this chrome delete out. And then I'm gonna close this out and go edit. <laughs> Hi, Greg. Hi, buddy. We have a full chrome delete. Yeah, that looks really nice. Really nice. Gloss black roof coming soon to a theater near you. All right. We're calling it, it's 8.45, which is early, which is good, because I can edit this and be to sleep before 10, which will be really nice. Any other panel we might attack is just gonna take too long and it's gonna put us over and I would like to get some sleep tonight because we are looking at an all-nighter Friday. Is what it is, I showed you guys the list earlier, that's what we have. Um, Today, I hope you enjoyed, you know, a little bit more mechanical install than just wrap. 
you know, changing out the core support and then installing the Mishimoto catch can. And as I said earlier, I will do a full review on that here in a thousand miles and three thousand miles. Actually, let's go ahead and look at the mileage now so I can resort back to it. All right. So we are at 5,481. That works. 50,481. Now I'll know. That about wraps it up for today, guys. Core support, Mishimoto catch can, full chrome delete. Still a solid day. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Much, much, much more to come. We still have a bunch of stuff over here. We still have stuff to do that isn't even on this list. It's on that side of the list. <laughs> There's a lot to come with this car, man. So if you're enjoying this build and you want to watch more, if you have a 300, you want some ideas or whatever, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. As I said earlier, go follow Craig on Instagram because he doesn't do anything, but he needs friends. <laughs> what? And go vote. This will probably be posted around 10 a.m. I'm in a contest right now. Go to my Instagram, my Facebook, whatever. Um, go vote. Actually, I'll put it in the link down below. Go down there, vote. Contest ends at 2 p.m. on the 5th, Friday. Give me that vote, man, if you think my car is worth it. I think it is. Thumbs up. I'm done. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.